Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Brother Not Brother. In today's episode, we're going to another decade of the past. That's right, we're gonna be trying out candy from the 70s. We're gonna be trying some candy that we, I think we've had, actually I'm I know we've had about these, with most of these. But these are all had their initial start back in the 70s. Yeah. And people really liked them. So we are going to open them up, review them, and let you know what we think. And if there's anything that we haven't tried here before. So here we go. Here we go. We have a numerous, several different types that look familiar. Yeah. Some stuff I haven't even seen Really? Recently. I've seen all of these before. Well, I've seen them all before. I just haven't seen them recently. Oh, okay. Specifically okay, okay. this one. I'm going to just start with this one. These are Spider-Man sticks. Candy sticks. I think they're gonna be like those uh, fake cigarettes. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they look like um, like chalk. Little, just, yeah, and it's just little white sticks. So let's see if I'm right. I think I'm right. Yep. It's just like looks like chalk. There's one more in there for you. Mmm. Oh, I feel like that Ooh. crunch noise. Oh, it's just sugar. Nothing special. It's actually even more bland than sugar. I don't know. I don't like it. Tastes like you're walking into a dentist. A little bit. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> but I've had those before. Yeah, I've had them before too. But those are the little candy sticks and uh, yeah, neat. Next one, Kelby. Next one, everybody's familiar with. Airheads. Oh, I love me some Airheads. What this flavor is, is this, this one? This is white mystery, so ooh, we don't know. Ooh, it's a mystery flavor. I'm pretty sure the mystery didn't come out until like the 90s, but uh, I know that the air, I can I can see how the Airheads were popular back in the I have no idea 70s. what flavor that is. Mm. Mm. It's good. I've always loved Airheads though. Mm hmm. It's like a blue raspberry almost. Yeah. So those are airheads. airheads. Check it out. Our next one we're gonna try. We're gonna try the Skittles. We all know Skittles. Skittles are still super popular. I didn't today. know that they came out in the seventies. I didn't either. But how else? Now, do you them? like Skittles? Um. No. 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 Yeah. Like I'll eat them if they're in the candy bowl. I'll eat them, but. Don't you dare mix those in with M&M's. It was a special kind of hell for people like that. You know, I'm talking to you, monster. Yeah, don't do that. All right, so back to the Skittles. What's your favorite color Skittle? I don't like Skittles. You don't like Skittles at all? No, but my favorite color would probably be purple. Purple, we got purple in there. There okay. you go, I like the green ones. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of the, the crunchy shell with the gooey, or it's not even gooey, it's just chewy center. I don't know. I don't like having to chew it for so long. No. Yeah. I like it. I love Skittles. A little bit of green apple. But great. Good flavor. Yeah. Next one. Kelby. Next one. Sixlets. Oh, I love Sixlets. I would always just like go like half and just go. Oh, jeez, they're gone. Well, I'm glad you saved so me try, that. So try the other way, yeah. <laughs> that did not work, did it? No, you already ruined it. You pre-bit it. <laughs> I love cichlids. Mm, little chocolate cichlids. I wish, I wish I could get a bowl of cichlids. That would be good. But they only come in these tiny little packs with like 10 in them. And some of them only have like four or six. It would take a while to fill up a bowl and then be gone within a couple Six seconds. Lit, Sixlets are definitely the favorite at Halloween. They're, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, not my favorite. What's your favorite Halloween candy then? Oh, like, oh, jeez. Favorite Halloween candy? Definitely Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers? Yeah. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Mmm. I, I feel like I would get sick of those. Yeah. Actually, I know I would. If you go back to our Reese's video, I was sick of Reese's by the end of that. <laughs> that was a bad video. Um. Anyway, I'll put the link to that one in the description. <clears throat> that was a good video. Um, so you just did six lits. I'm yeah. gonna do Sour Patch Kids. Mm. Yes, and there is only one in, who, who sells an individual Sour Patch? Now granted, yeah. nowadays they're- In a big bag. They're in a big bag and they're much smaller. Now if you guys, if any of you know me personally, <clears throat> I hate sour food, sour candy. Oh. I am not a big fan of it. I just can't handle it. Hmm. 
There you go. Mmm. Well, first they sour. <clears throat> and then it's sweet. And it's just nice. This is, yeah, Sour Patch Kids. You know them. We love them. They're great. Next one we're gonna go to. I'm just gonna do it just because I hate the flavor. The original Cherry Head Cherry Candy. He hates cherry. I hate cherry. You wanna cherry know why? Anything. Cherry reminds, reminds me of NyQuil. Cough syrup. Bleh. Yep. How big are they? They're pretty, they're decent size. Don't dump them all off this time. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. Like Space Invaders catching them all. <laughs> Look like the Boston Red Nuts or whatever those are called. Boston Baked Beans. Yeah. What? Yeah, they're fine. They're cherry. I don't love these. I probably would never buy them because there's so many other options out there. Ooh. They're kind of sour. Ah. So it's a combination of the two things that Kelby hates the most. So, cherry heads, there you go. Not very good. Yeah, my cherry head. Um, you know what? To follow up cherry head, let's do grape head. Who doesn't love grape? Yeah, and that's the one I thought that you would think was a uh, cough syrup flavor. Cough syrup flavor. Grape. Mm. Nope. Because uh, the, all the cough syrup I ever had was grape. I can handle the grape. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness, that's delicious. Mm, they look like a, like a black bean. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. All those are great. Mm. It's not sour, it's just <clears throat> good grape deliciousness. Very, very strong grape flavor. Mm. That's good. I, I like, like it. All right, Kelby, which of these three do you want to do next? We'll do this one. The Rain Blow Four Bubble Gum Balls. I'll take the grape. Well, that leaves me with the cherry after. Good bubble gum. Oh, it's just the hard stuff. These are the, essentially those bu giant gum balls that you get in the quarter machine at the store. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And within like maybe two minutes of chewing it, the flavor goes away. And it turns into a rock. Yeah. But not bad. You know what? I'm impressed. This is by far probably one of the better ones we've had so far. From I, the 70s. I think we have to do the Laffy Taffy. But there's only one way to do it, Laffy Taffy. Well, you have to read the joke you first. Have to read the joke first. Oh, this is a, a, a plethora of dad jokes. Dad jokes. Oh, it's just so many dad jokes. How do you get the water into watermelon? How do you get the water into watermelon? I don't know. Plant it in the spring. <laughs> That's actually a really good one. Yeah. These are pretty creative, but a lot of them are that dad joke like, uh, okay. Why was the boy covered in gift wrap? I don't know. His mom told him to leave in the present. Live in the present. Live in the present. That's a good one. <laughs> Want to hear one of mine? Are you ready? Yeah. What is a mother cow called after she gives birth? I don't know. Decaffeinated. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good one. Oh, I got one for you. Okay. What do you call, or what do you get when you mix Noah's Ark with a bug? Noah's Ark with a bug. Arctic. <laughs> okay, one more. One okay, more. okay, okay. What is the difference between a, a piano, tuna, and a bottle of glue? Uh... I don't know. What is it? You could tune a piano, but you can't piano a tuna. What about the glue? I knew you'd get stuck on that one. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for the jokes. You're welcome. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and try this banana Laffy Taffy. Mmm. All of them are so hard. Not really. That's a good one, though. I love it. Banana is by far my favorite flavor of Laffy Taffy. Yeah. Mmm. I like the the white one in the blue wrapper. Mmm. It's like blue raspberry or banana. Huh. Our last one here. These are now Kelby's 
least favorite, I think. Now and later. I personally don't get them very often. And they're not that great unless you have a lot of patience. And it's taking some patience to just open up this dang package right now. Yeah, it takes a while to open up the package and it takes a while to um, like open up the wrapper. There we go. Thank One you. for you. They're at least banana flavored, so they should be good, right? Oh, it's actually really easy to open them. Oh, good. Like a starburst, but hard. Oh, they're okay. Wow. They're, they're really hard. Mm -hmm. They're okay. Mm -hmm. You'll be sucking on it now, and you'll still be sucking on it later. Whoa. <laughs> well, that is it for the candy from the 70s. What did you think? Mm, my favorite? Yeah. Six sets. Mmm. You know what? I almost forgot about that one. Ow. Hands down, I agree with you on that. Sixlets are by far my favorite, too. Mm. But, cool episode. If yeah. you guys think of any other Sandy's candies that you want us to try, yeah, go ahead and let us know. Let us know which one of those ones that we tried was your favorite. Um, and in the meantime, don't forget to follow us on all of our social media. They'll be over here. Um, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe here on YouTube. There should be a button right there. If not, the little red button down below. Yeah. And until then, until next episode.